Hey, what's going on? It's Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Spent 13 hours on this car yesterday. I was up till almost 2 o'clock in the morning, around 1.30 to be exact, uh, getting this thing primed up, body work all done, and ready for paint tomorrow. Today, we're going to sand it all down by hand, 400 grit, do a good job on it. Uh, get all the little minor imperfections, if there are any, with a little bit of glaze putty. Reshoot those areas with primer. Uh, and it's we, we are literally in the final stages before paint. So the major body work is done. Now we're going to be doing all the little, you know, nicks and chips if we see any. Uh, and it's looking really good. You could, you could see the mold that we did here in the rear trunk lid. Okay, and that's how it's going to basically look from the side okay and you know it's gonna pop up because it's you know we, we molded we molded it in you know so it is higher than the the quarter panel here but it looks pretty good I think it's gonna look really good painted uh, it's gonna look unique okay we have our bumper cover all molded in one piece as you can see our lip here Right, and then our rear kit molded into one piece, the side and then the back. And I did make one mistake last night when I was priming, and it, I had I got everything on video, but I just want to tell you what I did. So I was priming it with uh, my Evercoat Feather Fill, my polyester putty, super thick stuff, and if you're spraying this stuff. Um, you can reduce it. I, I did reduce it a little bit, but you want to spray with a, a big tip, a 1.9 at the at the smallest. One point, you could even get it get it out of a 1.8, but I used a 1.9 uh, to a 2.2. That's the the range where you want to spray this stuff at. Um, it dries really quick, and the mistake that I had was I was using my Warwick 980 gun here uh, with a 1.9 tip. I had a filter in here that I totally forgot about. So I was spraying it with 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 it with the filter in here. Uh, and all of a sudden, like after a couple of minutes of spraying, my, my fluid started getting less and less and drying. It was just, it was wide open fan, but it was coming out like, like an inch. Like spraying like a little, and it was drying up and it was like, man, what the heck is going on? I couldn't figure it out until I, re until I dumped everything out of the cup here trying to take apart the gun to clean it. I thought it was maybe dirty inside. And then I was like, oh, the filter. You know, when you're shooting thick primer like that, you want to take the neck filter out. Like I took it out and I threw it. I was so pissed. <laughs> it's down there. You know those little neck filters? Let me get it. This thing was clogging up. Okay, and it just totally screwed me up. You could see it's all, it all dried out. All right, so make sure you take that out, but you want to filter the primer before you put it in your cup. So you open a cup up, you know, you put your filter in, then fill it up with primer, and then shoot it. Okay, so make sure you do that when you're spraying this, uh, this stuff. But it's really good stuff. It fills up all of your imperfections. You could spray right over 80 grit. Um, I've heard of people spraying right over 60 grit, but I just think that's too coarse. So what I did was I had 80 grit in some areas, but I actually feathered them down with a little 240. Um, and this is where we had our big quarter panel damage here. You could see some of this uh, Bondo scuff marks in here, right? But all of that actually will be sanded out when we, once we start water sanding with 400. You could see how the uh, mold came out really nice. Okay, so almost done um you know couple probably got a, a day a good day of sanding i could cheat now and get a da with some uh 360 on it and just hit some of the flat areas down with my da quick just to help me out and then uh and then go over it with the water sand but the bumper you know you're gonna have to do this by hand there's so much round round areas in it uh all right so again it's tony from learn auto body and paint.com Giving you a quick update on the Mazda Miata project. We're going to be painting this thing uh, hopefully tomorrow. The, the, the plan is to paint this thing tomorrow. It's going to be a, a little two-tone. I'm not sure. I mean, the original idea was to paint the mirrors gold. 
uh, the same as the stripe because we're going to have a graphic stripe on the bottom. Uh, but I was thinking maybe what if I made these eyelids gold? You think that would look stupid? You know? I was thinking of just making those, those head, headlamp covers gold. Uh, maybe because I think if I did the mirrors and the headlamps gold, it would look funny. But I probably, I may not do it. I may just do the gold on the side and uh and the mirrors or just the gold and the head i don't know just an update so if you want to learn auto body paint uh diy stuff and you don't want to spend thousands of dollars at a shop learn how to do it yourself check out learn auto body and paint.com if you're on youtube click the link below um to get a free 85 page auto body manual get on um, my newsletter get some free trainings learn about auto body uh it doesn't matter if you're working on a classic uh you know an import a ricer like this, you know, uh, a Euro car, whatever you're doing, you can apply these same strategies to your own car, save thousands of dollars, learn a skill, and uh, have the pride and, and fulfillment of doing it yourself. It's Tony. Thanks. Like the video, share it, and I'll see you inside. Have a great day. Bye.